Welcome back, guys, to Kerbal Space Explosion. Today, uh, we're shooting for Moho. Duncan Kerman, Duncott Kerman, our pilot, is ready and prepared 900 parts in 25 stages. Let's rock. No countdown, just blast off. Now this rocket, it works. I can get it into orbit, I've tested that much. It is finicky. Let me warn you in advance, I may have to do this a few times. Um, it's a, it has a little bit of variability. Now, one of the problems is that my fuel tanks are so long that as I'm staging them, they tend to hit the engines as they're coming off. So anytime that happens and an engine comes off, we have to start over. Hopefully we can do it successfully. Another tricky stage is this first stage. Once we get rid of all these boosters, we have to keep these boosters here from running into the rockets here. So we're going to be very finicky about that. I honestly don't know if we're going to be able to get to Moho. I, I feel pretty confident we can do a flyby and return an aero break into the planet to land. Now, whether or not we're going to have enough fuel to actually get into Moho orbit and then land on it with our lander and our, and our, our rover and our, and our lander, I'm not sure about that. I am not sure at all. We're going to find out one way or the other. Moho does not have an atmosphere, so we can't aero break, so it's going to be kind of difficult. Uh, I wanted to do this mission to Moho before going to EVE, which is a little closer and also has an atmosphere so you can aero break, because I want to do a multi-stage mission to EVE. Uh, what My idea is I would like to uh, take a big rocket there, and have a space plane on it that I undock and send to EVE, and then I'll have like a lander on it that I undock and send to the satellites, and I'll then I'll put those back in orbit, both of them, redock them, and escape back to Kerbin. That's the idea, but I just, I don't have all the parts to do that, and I'm not very good at docking yet. Here's this stage, and we're barely off target here. All right, now we got to watch this really carefully. Okay, that's good, I think. I don't think we lost any. Excellent. And I'm going to use my RCS. This has been something I've added in the later stages. Let's see, did we lose a rocket? I, I'm hearing some, some noises which are not reassuring. I think we're okay. I'm going to use the RCS for this booster stage. And I added a bunch of little RCS knobs there to help us make this stage a little smoother, a little bit more stable, man, and the frame rate is very low. Beginning of this, uh, beginning of next year, I'm gonna rebuild my computer, and man, I need uh, I need something new because my computer is aging. I th this would probably lag out just about any game. It's, or, you know, any computer. The game isn't really designed to deal with 900 parts, 900 part rockets, and we, I think I'm getting, what, four frames per second right now? But we're going mostly straight up and down. I would like to be going faster than 200 meters per second. Straight up before this stage ends. ends, And I would like to uh, not be rotating. Because rotation is going to cause problems. I would like to get back over to uh, where we're parallel with the 90 degree mark. I keep hearing those little sounds. Let me actually, we're going 200. Let me throttle these down. We're going 200. Let me check my little fuel tanks here. Okay, that's done. Oh, crap. That was the wrong one. Dang it. I just dumped a nearly full fuel tank. Now that guy's full. And I'm going to throttle down all the way until these boosters are done and we're out of the thick part of the atmosphere. That's their job, to get us out of the atmosphere. We're going to continue to use RCS because I put a bunch of extra RCS tanks that are going to get staged off anyway. Let's see, the boosters are gone. Let's go ahead and throttle up to transition to the next phase. There we go, and bye-bye, boosters. Don't hit anything, please. Yeah, yeah, all right, we did it. Okay, good. Next phase is to start turning over as we accelerate. Just want to turn over a little. I don't want to hurt our acceleration too much. I'm going to go over right there, right, right about here. Let's spin the camera around. There we go. Okay, let's check our fuel tank. Not empty yet. 
Let's see. Let's see. I made that one uh, number five on the action groups. So when that is empty, I will drop it off. And we got got to make sure I'm not moving too much when I drop these, so they don't hit anything. All right, it's done. Five. See you later, buddy. And they don't uh, they don't hurt the struts. I was kind of worried about that happening. Thankfully, they don't seem to impact with the struts. Oh, I'm still way zoomed out. I was looking at Moho. I waited. Uh, let me actually. I'll show you that once we get into actual orbit. But uh, I fast forwarded until our orbits sort of lined up with what I predict is going to be the ascending node to get to Moho. Hopefully that works out. And oh, okay, we lost some stage. Oh gosh. Okay, now we're going this way. Go this way, and I still do. I still have our still have our CS. Ah, I don't know what that sound was. I don't like it. But I think we're going pretty good. We're accelerating nicely. As long as uh, nothing goes wrong, and by go wrong, wrong, I mean one of these things falling off when we stage, uh, we should be okay. I want to stay like right at this mark on the 90 degree, 45 degree angle. Okay, goodbye, guys. And the more of these we lose, the uh, the longer they'll last. The longer they'll last because the fewer rockets we have that we uh, have to use our fuel. Whoa! Did you hear that sound? I think that's the camera getting close to the engines or something as we transition to the other the other mark. <laughs> the, the sound effects freak me out sometimes. But we're accelerating nicely. We're up to 700 there, 550 there. Let's stay at surface. I want to make sure we're continually to, continuing to move up. There's that. Okay, goodbye, guys. Very good. Yeah, there it happened again. Our apoapsis is only 28 seconds, and we're not climbing very fast. I wonder if I should tip up a little. Maybe we tipped over a little too far. We may not have quite enough oomph to uh, to do this right. I want that to keep climbing. I want this. I want the apoapsis there to uh, to get farther away so that we have time to do an orbital burn. Okay, we're about to lose another set. We've got a nice hexagon formation going. There they go. Bye bye. Thank you. How we doing? It's up to 32 seconds away. Okay, good. The apoapsis is getting farther away. We're still climbing, and we are burning orbitally as well. Laterally around the planets. This is good. All right, everything's going good. I'm happy. I didn't put any lights on this guy. Um, I probably could have put them on the lander. I just Maybe I forgot. Maybe that's what happened. Uh, but... Thankfully, right now, we're st we still have a lot of light, so you can actually see what I'm doing. What are we doing now? Up to 40 seconds. And we're about to lose this stage. There they go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, let's keep going up. I want to get somewhere between 80 and 100 kilometers. Before we try to uh, burn for an orbit, somewhere in there that's nice and stable. Look at my wheels spinning. Let's turn on these brakes. Will that stop them? <laughs> that's, that's kind of distracting when I'm trying to do these very specific maneuvers. Okay, we're getting up now. Let's go ahead and turn over all the way to 90 degrees. And uh, let's start burning... For an orbit, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this without a maneuver, I believe. I think we can just do it manually. I think I've done it enough that that should be straightforward enough. Please don't hit anything. Thank you. <laughs> Very considerate. Very considerate. There's the space music. And the camera is shifting a little bit. We're not in orbit yet. I don't know what its dealio is. And we're up to 80. Okay, so now we're just gonna keep burning for an orbit. We're 50 seconds from hitting that apoapsis. I think I think we should be able to do an orbit. 
uh, by the time we get there and halfway beyond. Stay stay on target, buddy. Our All of our RCS tanks are here, and we're going to lose them eventually when we stage, so we may as well use this stuff to help us stay on target. Uh, these are all gimbling rockets as well, so um, we should be able to maintain all this stuff. And we're only up to 82 kilometers for Apoapsis. And this should be spreading out quite rapido. Oh, we lost another one. Bye-bye, guys. Uh-oh, what happened? I didn't lose a tank. Oh, no. Did I? I think I may have messed up the staging because these guys aren't going. Let's see if I can find the... Hmm. This is not good. Something malfunctioned in my staging here. I may have to look at this. This right here. You see this? Yeah, they're not... They're not... I can't even click on them. I guess we'll just have to... Uh, I'm not sure what to do. Yeah, these stages, they're not working. They malfunctioned. Darn it. Okay. Uh, let's get into orbit, and then let's see if we can salvage that. We may just have to keep those tanks on, as inefficient as that is. We may have to keep them on. We're only up to 85 kilometers there. And we should be getting close to orbit here. There we go. Okay, that's climbing rapid, rapidly. Keep an eye on it, 55, 60, as long as it gets up to about 80, it's fine. There, all right, just cut the throttle. 80 and one fourth, what, ooh, gosh. That's still increasing, why are you still increasing? Oh, we've got some major malfunctions here. What happened? I'm gonna have to look at my staging. Something went wrong, obviously. These are still burning, and I've cut all my throttle. I think it thinks I've staged them. Let's see if I rotate if they peel off. I may have to do this section over or look at my staging or something. I'm not sure exactly what happened here. Yeah, they're still burning. Okay, uh, I'm going to do this over, look at my staging, see if I can get into orbit. Then we'll resume. Look at that. We got into orbit. Look at how much fuel I have left. We haven't even touched these guys. I did uh, basically the same launch maneuver again, and nothing malfunctioned this time. We have this central guy with all of its fuel, and then one more with all of its fuel, and then we've got this third section or stage or whatever that is nearly empty. But uh, I think this is a pretty good result. Quick save. I think that's a pretty good result. That's probably about as best as I could do with the current parts and just the way I constructed that ship. Okay, so Moho, Moho, where you at Moho? Let's zoom out, way out. So there's Moho way over here. Um, and you notice I waited to blast off until our planet was kind of aligned with Moho this way so that hopefully uh, we can burn for Moho and align our orbit to it right now, rather than doing it halfway through the orbit and spending a bunch of extra fuel. Let's see, okay, so um, I think, where am I, I'm right here, I think I want to burn that way. I read somewhere that if you want to go in system, you burn retrograde to your planet's orbit, like that, if you want to go farther out, like to Duna, you burn prograde um, towards the spin of your planet's orbit. So we're going this way. If I wanted to go out, I'd burn that way. If I want to burn in, I think we go this way. I think that. So let's test it out. Let's put a little maneuver here. Let's see where it leads us. Let's put it right right about there. I, this is like the jumpy periapsis and apoapsis. That's really unnerving. Okay. Let's get that going. That's still within the system. There we go. Oh, and it, man, it, <laughs> I wish it would wait for me to tell it to get rid of those controls. How does it know that I'm done with it? Because I'm clearly not. Aha. Okay, so it is burning us inwards towards Eve. We need to go even farther. Here's a burn of almost three minutes. 
And we'll get it all the way into the orbit of Moho. Four minutes. This is going to be a big burn. Big burn. Like a big bird. Oh, look at that. Oh, hang on. Look at this. We're already getting close to a uh, an approach, and now we have to... Let's see, did I click the right one? Yeah, okay, we need to rotate it this way. Good and stupid. <laughs> Come on, man, I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you. Give me those controls. We're still fiddling with this. Uh, let's see. Let's pull it in this way. That's going to push us outwards. We kind of want it to line up like this, and then we'll adjust it later. And let's see, our ascending and descending node is less than a degree. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for an initial burn. Let's see if I can get it even better. 0. 0.6, negative 0. 0.7, negative 0. 0.6, negative 0. 0.6. Okay, it's not changing. Negative 0. 0.6. Negative 0.7. Okay, so that's about as good as we can do. All right. Um, let's see. We've only got three minutes to that, but we're close to the mark. Now, let's see if... Um, I don't mind going around the planet a few times while I zero in on what exactly is best. What I want to see now is if we can make this cost less fuel if we just move this like to the left or to the right a little bit. Let's see what this does. Okay, now... I need those controls. Don't go anywhere, controls. What did it do? It looks like it came in a little bit, so we should be able to slow it down a little. Oh, look at that. What's this? I may be able to line up a maneuver or, a, you know, uh, an encounter. Hmm. Okay, so that's pretty close. And I got it a little closer by moving it to the left. Let's try moving it a little farther. That's a long burn. We may have to wait until I go all the way around again to even start this thing. Let's put it there. Okay, now controls. Stay with me, controls. Don't you minimize. Aha! Okay. So we can now reduce the length of the burn even more, right? Oh, no, no, no. We went farther out. No, that's backwards. We need to add to it, which is not... Oh, wait! Look at this. Go back. Go back. Come on. Oh, I saw you. Where were you? Where'd you go? Did you see it? I saw... I definitely saw it. Right there. Hmm. Let's see, we've got a five minute burn. I'm wondering if we're gonna be able to do that because it's gonna get longer as soon as we get rid of one of these sets of tanks and engines. Five minutes and 20, we've got three minutes and change. Let's see how quickly we can get over to the mark. Otherwise I may, you know what, let's just try it. I can always quick load if it doesn't go our way because once we lose these tanks and this extra set of engines, um, Okay, oh, I turned RCS off in SAS. No wonder it's not moving. <laughs> oh, you know what? We're already at the halfway mark. Huh, okay, let me turn RCS back off. Yeah, we're gonna wait. Okay, this was a good maneuver. So we're gonna wait until we, we're gonna pass it and then go back around. Will, the, will it still stay there or will it disappear? Let's go ahead and go around it. And we can't go any faster than that. Okay, so it's still going to stay there. No! I'm, oh, okay. Mm. I want to manipulate it. But yeah, see, it won't let me. Okay, so we're going to have to make another one. Let's make a maneuver. Put it right about... Oh, quit jumping around. That's so, it's kind of annoying. Make up your mind where the orbit is. Ah! And now we've got 24 minutes. That should be good. And we want to get it out. Oh, come on, man. Uh, to about five minutes was the burn last time. Go 
going out, way out, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna fiddle with this and try to zero in as good as possible. Oh, look at that, our burn is much shorter this time. How did that, oh, because we haven't gone all the way to the hole. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this as close as I can and then we'll resume recording.